Welcome back to another week here at the Tullerin. We are going to work on the pantry wall and maybe even get to the master bathroom shower and get that done. We also have a few other spots where we need to put up a small little wall just to cover up plumbing. The first step of rebuilding this wall is we need to add some blocking in between here because our joists are running perpendicular with the big size of the room where the wall is going to be. So what we are doing is we're going to add some blocking so that we can mount the wall to the ceiling. We could obviously mount the wall right here. The only problem is this is going to be in the way of the window on both sides. So therefore we are going to move the wall somewhere in the middle and we can't really have the wall be floating on the top so that's why we'll need to add some blocking so that the wall on the top the wall the top plate of the wall can have some support Okay, now that we have the blocking in, we need to lay out the wall where the door and everything is going to go. We know the door and the door frame together needs a rough opening of 37 inches. So we need to have at least a 37 inch opening over here. Then next step is we need to figure out how much wall we want on this side of the door and then also obviously we'll figure out what this side is. So we know our trim is at least five inches thick so I am going to do like seven inches from the outside so that gives us about an inch and a half from that side over here over there after the wall so seven maybe even go to eight to get a little bit of drywall on that side in so we're doing an eight inch Rough opening start, and then we go from there, 37 inches. Okay, so now we need to figure out exactly where the wall needs to be. The wall should be at least 5 inches from the window, plus the extra wall space so let's do eight again here what that means it would be a inch wall that would leave us 53 inches so four feet and a little after wall and everything is in I think that's pretty good So we need a 125 and a half long piece over here as the bottom plate and an 8 inch piece over there. So 
So besides cutting the studs, I also cut some shorter pieces that I use as fire blocking in the middle of the wall. That gives us also racking strength. I'll show you guys when I when I put it all together. But these, are, in this case, since I'm doing 16 on center, these are just 14 and a half long. Uh, they should be fitting perfectly. So now that we have the top plate, bottom plate and the studs connected and all lined up um, and also nailed in already, we are going to add blocking to strengthen the wall a little bit. And the easiest way is, as you're doing this, if your wall is sitting somewhere on, for example, a subfloor here that has marks, then you can just follow these marks uh, along and you are putting them in at the right spots. <laughs> Okay, so now the wall is together, or at least in my case, portion of the wall, because I won't be able to fit the entire length with nails and windows and everything in the way. So we're gonna stand up the wall. What we really want to have is a level, so we can make sure the wall that we are mounting and then attaching to the wall and the ceiling is level and also plumb. We need to finish this door frame. So what we'll need to do is a double stud over here with our eight inches that we said we're gonna be from the wall as a bottom plate. And then we need the shorter studs that go on the inside of the door where the header is gonna sit on top. We'll get this ready, put it up, and then we connect all the pieces together. pretty happy we have another project done the pantry wall is back up so now for people to imagine a little bit better our layout of the kitchen we're gonna have most likely the fridge right here we're gonna have some cabinets uh, high cabinets all the way on this side of the wall and then and then there's gonna be a sink that has kind of a beautiful view of like the entire town and the river when you are standing right here Alright, so we're working together today and looking forward to getting a lot of work done, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> so behind us we're going to do a little bit of framing um, just to bump out this spot here where our drain is going to come down. And then upstairs we're going to frame the shower in the master bathroom that we um, just didn't get framed in yet.
All right, this is done, so let's go upstairs. I know I am bad at this. So sorry. Gonna be a pretty small shower and even smaller space for the toilet but it is going to be just the guest room in the long term so I think it will be okay and then over here we're gonna have the vanity and unfortunately on the right side we'll have our vent stack that comes down from the 
what comes up from the bathroom underneath us that will have to, have to still go up all the way so we gotta use another half a foot of real estate in this room i think this is it for this week all right thanks for watching everyone see you next time bye